Hello all. Seeing the image, you might already have guessed what is the point of discussion for today, right? Yes. So we are going to discuss about intonation of big cat alliance that recently got union cabinet support. So without any further delay, let's start. Welcome to EcomIS Academy. Today we are going to discuss about intonation of big cat alliance. So before we proceed further, you need to look into this perspective of why we are discussing. So then we'll understand. See, in UPSC preparation or in any state exam preparation, it is very much important to cover environment. Environment became very a scoring area and very strength area, you can see. And in the recent times, if you see the number of questions appearing from environment section are increasing. So in environment, the most important topic is biodiversity. In biodiversity section, again, they're asking some species related questions. Okay. So be it in state PCS or in UPSC, they're asking this section. So it is very easy. If you focus on this area, you can easily score as many marks as possible. So the main idea of this discussion is we are not only looking into international big cat alliance, we are also looking into each particular big cat. Okay. So we look into what is the status, what is the habitat, where we find these type of things, and we'll also have some value addition. So stay tuned till then so that you'll not miss any update. So here you can see when you're reading any biodiversity related or species related thing. My sincere suggestion is just Google it out. The image of this particular species, okay. So even if you know, just when you go Google it out and when you see the image, it will be lasted for long in your memory, so that you can easily correlate in the examination. So just Google it out and see the images of the species which you are referring to. Then, as we proceed, you can see here. This is a point of discussion. International big cat alliance. Why it is a news? We'll be discussing. Then we'll look into what is this international big cat alliance. What are the seven big cats that are covered under this alliance? And also we'll look into the recent leopard census, okay, or the leopard uh, population data, which is released by the Ministry of Environment. We'll see which is the state having highest, which is the state having lowest, and what are the areas where there is more population of leopards. All these things we'll know, okay. Then we'll also look into what is the way forward to conserve such species. Why it is very much important, okay. So then, this forms part time under GS Paper Three in UPSC Mains and under Environment Section, especially in Biodiversity. Okay, and this is very important in Biodiversity. Now, with now here, why we are discussing this particular international big cat alliances? Union Cabinet, headed by Prime Minister, so they have approved the establishment of international big cat alliance on the similar lines like international solar alliance. So, what is most important is if you have remembered till now, India became. The home for two international organizations or headquartered two international organizations. What are those? One, you know, it is International Solar Alliance with respect to solar energy promotion and all. We wanted to make uh, India a global leader in solar energy. At the same time, wanted to connect every country through one nation, one uh, sort of one world, one solar, one grid, one sun, one world, and one grid initiative. Also, then we have another international alliance that also was spearheaded by India only. That is CDRA. Okay, if you have remembered, that is. Coalition for Disaster Risk Reduction, okay, initiative we have. So these are the two things which are headquartered in India itself, international organizations, but headquartered in India. And if you have remembered in the recent time, in when we hosted G20 last year, G20 summit, you know, when we hosted at that time, even our Prime Minister, along with U.S. President and Brazil President, he also gave a call for global biofuel alliance. Okay, so in this way, India is playing an important role in terms of environmental conservation, and we are focusing more on environmental aspects, right? So when we are initiating some particular initiatives, okay, so those will be very important from any exam perspective. So when you are preparing for competitive exams, you need to focus on these areas where India is a member and which are mainly sponsored by India. Okay, so it is very much important to know about this. Why we are discussing this particular issue now means you know. It was recently given yesterday itself. Okay, so they have given approval for, for this international big cat alliance. Okay, that is why you have to remember. Then we'll also understand what is the prominence or the significance of this alliance. Okay, what they wanted to do. In the name itself is suggesting international big cat alliance. What first we need to understand what are big cats. Okay, so you need to know what are big cats. Big cats are nothing but a group of animals which belong to the cat family and the genus Panthera. Okay, genus means within a the family there will be something called panthera. So 
whichever the cats that belong to the genus panthera they are called as big cats okay so how many big cats we have in total means seven big cats are there as you have seen in the introduction image itself seven big cats are there so then out of these seven we will all the then if the question arises that all the seven big cats are there in india means no only we have five we don't have two big cats so what are those two big cats which we don't have which we don't find in india means one is puma and you have second one is jaguar okay jaguar so these two are not seen in india and you know these are specific to american continent itself so you find them in america right so these two are not there in india then what are the five big cats that are there in india means you know tiger lion you have then cheetah you have leopard you have and snow leopard okay and you know cheetah already there in india but recently you know because we got this cheetah extinct in 1952 so after that you know there is a long story that happened we have reintroduced cheetah again taking from namibia so you have to remember there are two types of cheetahs asian cheetah and african cheetah asian cheetah is only there in iran now and they have very few in number like already almost 150 like that only they have so they don't wanted to reintroduce them into india because they wanted to conserve their species so they said no then we approached african country that is namibia and we asked cheetah there and we have reintroduced successfully cheetah in india so cheetah is also so much in use for the last two years so next thing is you know tiger so why tiger is important because you know if you have remembered by 2023 that is when 2022 recent tiger census was out in fifth uh, fifth tiger census i say so when it was released at that point of time prime minister also announced the 50 years of completion of this project tiger so we look into what is project tiger and all in the later part of the video but here this is also so much in news tigers because of 50 years of project tiger and the lord recently they have government even have notified some tiger reserves okay so you need to know you have to update these things i'll share those important facts also for you then you also have to remember about lion because you know lion asiatic lion is only confined to one particular state in india and we'll see what is that state and why recently lions populations also decreasing so if you have remembered canine distemper virus that is also infecting these lions and the population is decreasing so we'll look into this also then we have leopard so to study itself we have recent leopard data out by the ministry of environment so we'll look into this also and snow leopard why this is a news because of two reasons one is one central asian country have declared the snow leopard as its national symbol what is that country answer in the comment section second thing is for another reason why snow leopard is in news is because if you have seen for the first time they have assessed the population of snow leopard in india that means in 2024 itself we have first ever estimate of snow leopard population conducted by the central government specifically union ministry of environment so for the, all these reasons all the five big cats are so much in news so that is why it is very high like you can say likely that you will get a question out of any of these or any five species or you can say about the international big cat alliance also they can ask you so this is the brief background which you need to remember then as i told you this international big cat alliance this is an international alliance of almost 96 range countries means if you see all these seven big cats are almost present in 96 countries okay so in all these 96 countries not only these countries any other non range country if even if they uh, not having this particular seven big cats within their territory but they are interested in sponsoring the conservation of these big cats they also can join along with this any scientific organization organizations business groups if they wanted to sponsor for conservation of big cats they also can join that means it became an international big cat alliance not only consisting of range countries non range countries scientific organizations business groups anyone okay so who are interested in conservation they can join this so as of now how many countries join as part of this means only 16 countries out of 96 have joined this okay important remember not all countries have joined but out of 96 range countries only 16 countries have joined international big cat alliance then how much is the funding means as one time budgetary support government of india has given 150 crores of money okay this is one time budgetary support they have given for almost 5 year period that is 2023 24 to 2027 and 28 till this period india has contributed 150 crores from its side for conservation of seven big cats 
So this is a brief backdrop regarding this particular issue. Now let us see further. Here you can see what is International Big Cat Alliance. It was launched by Prime Minister in 2023. So on the sidelines when in Mysore when he announced the 50 years completion of Project Tiger. So 50th anniversary means it is launched in 1973 Project Tiger. So the name itself is suggesting Project Tiger means for conservation of tiger, right? So why it was launched in... 1973 means you have to go into some historical context. At that point of time in 1972, if you have remembered, first conference on environment happened in Stockholm. Stockholm conference on human and environment we have seen, we call it, right? So this conference was first time held in 1972 in Stockholm. So what are the major outcomes of the Stockholm conference means? There is a body that got birth at this particular conference that is UNEP, United Nations Environment Program. So, you know, this is a nodal agency for environmental related things and it gives a highest award called Champions of Earth Award. So, we even which the Prime Minister had received. And recently, if you have remembered, one Indian uh, Purnima Devi Burman, she also was conferred with this Champions of the Earth Award, which is considered as highest in the environmental field. Then, what is another major outcome here in this summit is as this was held in 5th June, okay, on 5th June in 1972, from then we started celebrating this 5th June as World Environmental Day, okay. So, that is another thing you have to remember. So, on uh, behalf of India, at that time, the then Indian Prime Minister, Srimad Indira Gandhi, she has attended the meeting of the Stockholm Conference. So, as she is naturally an environmentalist and wildlife conservation uh, uh, interested person, so she wants to launch something, that is why after coming back from this conference, she has initiated this Wildlife Protection Act in the parliament and it got approval. Then subsequently, Project Tiger was also an, uh, announced and it was also implemented from 1973 in this context of attending Stockholm conference. Okay, So this is a major thing which you need to remember. Then here you have 50th anniversary of Project Tiger. Then what is the main objective here? Objective is here conservation of seven big cats like lion, tiger, leopard, cheetah, snow leopard, jaguar and puma. So we have seen already what are the seven big cats we have, right? So then what are the membership? It is open to 97 range countries and we have only 16 ratified, okay? Apart from India, 96 countries are there. So this is what you have to remember. Then mutual cooperation. What is the main objective is mutual cooperation among all the countries for conservation of all the seven big cats. That is the main objective. Then we'll understand what is the governance structure. Means how this function or how this international body will function means you have to correlate this with United Nations. Okay. So in UN, you know, there are six uh, organs of UN, right? Like you have UN General Assembly, you have UN Security Council, then you have United International Court of Justice, then you have Trusteeship Council, UN Secretariat you have, and UN Escape you have, right? Okay, Escape, you know, Economic and Social Council you have. Like the six organs are there, but out of which Trusteeship Council is not functioning. So five we have. Same way you correlate this UNGA with General Assembly of this International Big Cats. That means UNGA will consist of all members, right? In the same way, here also the International Big Cat Alliance General Assembly will consist of all member countries which have joined the alliance. Then you equate this UN Security Council with this council. So UN Security Council will have how many members? Generally five permanent and non-10 permanent member countries. No, same way here also. Minimum seven, maximum 15 members will be there uh, who are elected from the assembly itself as part of the council and they will be here holding the office till five year period. Okay. Then there will be secretariat also like UN secretariat to assist in the administrative things. And there will be a secretary general like UN secretary general. There will be one international big cat alliance secretary general, a person who is interested in conservation and carrying the main objectives of this alliance. So same way you have to equate with UN to easily remember. Then what is the funding? As I told you, government of India has contributed 150 crores for first five years. That is 23, 24, to 27, 28. So, this is the organizational setup of this organization. So, now as we are discussing in detail about all the big cats, what are the important things you one need to know from examination perspective? I'll be covering here. So, please understand the image also. Just have a glance over the image so that you can remember for long. So, this image you can correlate, right? This is tiger or national animal, right? 
so you know the animal a tiger scientific name is panthera tigris what is the status are you in are you see in status is there no so this is very important international union for conservation of nature so this is an ngo which is conserving wildlife and nature so in this there are some categories you know critically endangered endangered red list we call so out of this it is endangered okay so then it is largest of all the wild cats okay so this is very important to remember then what is the range or habitat means siberian tiger tiger means from the cold areas you can see right uh, you have different biomes siberian region means in russian region from there to sundarban delta you know this is in west bengal and bangladesh region so till there we have this range of tiger okay almost how many countries are part in tiger or uh, tiger range countries if you have remembered 13 tiger range countries are there so if you have remembered you please understand the importance of this because if you have remembered st peter's burg declaration that is what we have uh, initiated to conserve the tiger and we wanted to double this tiger population by 2022 itself in all like 13 tiger range countries but before 2022 only india has successfully doubled the tiger population so we'll understand more for details and you know important thing you have to remember is tiger census also is conducted by indian government every 4 years once okay it, it was started in 2006 at that time almost 1600 we have but in the fifth recent one okay so fifth one was released in 2022 the data was out in 23 at that time how many tigers were there almost 3167 tigers were there okay so this is what you have to keep in mind then it is a state national animal of india bangladesh malaysia south korea so do remember this important thing then project tiger as i told you in 1973 we have and who is responsible for implementing this project tiger means national tiger conservation authority okay so what is this national tiger conservation authority it is a statutory body established under wildlife protection act 1972 okay in 2006 it was established based on recommendations of tiger task force so then who will head this means ministry of environment and climate change whoever the union ministry is there that person will chair this particular body MOS uh, to the Ministry of Environment will be a member along with three parliamentary members at the same time secretary to Ministry of Environment also will be a member so this body is mainly in, instrumental in conserve in monitoring the project tiger okay so and then we'll understand at the end i'll give you an important other information is how many tiger reserves are there in india and what are the latest tiger reserves notified okay so that i'll discuss at the end stay tuned then you can understand this is lion right so you know lion means panther or leo this is a scientific name status is vulnerable it is native to africa and asia asiatic lion is only there in one state of india that is gujarat okay only in gujarat we are finding this in wild so you know this is preferring open forests and scrubland they don't uh, find lions in the uh, dense forest you can say because they wanted to hunt for the seasonness they will be there in the scrublands and open forests only and range is only in gir national park of gujarat okay so and you know in the state amblem you know four lions we see three lions only will be out no yeah. so for visit uh, visibility and all so here you have to remember national emblem which is inspired from this lion capital of ashoka that was erected by mauryan emperor ashoka you know that is in sarnath inscription in sarnath pillar also we find this so we have inspired from this and we have included lion as part of our national emblem okay so then this what is this it is related to jaguar okay so if you have seen here it, it's a scientific name is panthera onco it is near threatened it is not having any um, habitat in india okay it is only there in americas and you know it has a strongest bite so if it just bites once it just directly goes into the skull of that animal that much powerful bite will be there by the jaguar and melanistic means you know melanin hyper secretion will result in black jaguars also we call them as black panthers do remember jaguar is not found in india one of the seven big cats then you can understand what is this right this is leopard so we are going to discuss about this vulnerable status is there so it is also similar in appearance to jaguar just now we have seen it is most adaptable means whatever the climatic conditions are there it will adopt that is why if you see leopard population is very high okay so compared to all seven big cats in india we have very high population of leopard itself because of its adaptation capabilities okay then similar to black jaguars we have melanistic leopards also we can identify them also as black panthers means when there is melanin pigment which is responsible for dark colored skin among the leopards that is why we call as black panther 
then we have snow leopard you can understand this is considered as mountain ghost or ghost of the mountain because it is very difficult to capture them and they will be easy uh, to escape and not so if you see panthera onishia this is the scientific name and you have here vulnerable status this is a smoky grain color and it is found in central and southern asia okay so even in central asian countries that is why i told you in the recent times only one central asian country have notified the snow leopard as their national symbol so what is that country answer in the comment section then it cannot roar okay and it has the longest tail of all the seven big cats and this is a state animal of ladakh and himachal pradesh do remember okay so if you have seen in the recent times only i told you first ever snow leopard population assessment was done by the union government and accordingly they have released the data and in 2024 how many snow leopards are there means 718 snow leopards are found in india what are the states with highest number of snow leopards means first place ladakh you have second is uttarakhand you have okay almost 400 plus are there in ladakh and you have uttarakhand with 124 then you have himachal pradesh with 51 then arunachal pradesh you have sikkim and uh, jharkhand jammu and kashmir okay so these are the states which have this population of snow leopard right then we have what is this animal guess this is puma okay so this puma is called puma conkal this is least concerned again this animal is not found in india it is the second largest first largest we have seen is tiger okay so in among this species found in america it is the second largest means first largest is jaguar okay among all the seven big cats largest one is tiger then it is called as mountain lion okay it is found only in andes mountain southern part okay of americas then this is what you know right this is cheetah cheetah is recently introduced again reintroduced you can say first transnational or transcontinental uh, re introduction also you can say right so this is a scientific name you can see this is a status of vulnerable status was given to the cheetah asiatic cheetah is critically endangered because only in iran we find and that is also in less than 150 we have so but this is what we are finding in india is african cheetah but it is having a good number in africa so it is listed as vulnerable so what is the cheetah main quality is it is fastest land mammal okay so it is very fastest land mammal means because of its high speed it is considered as a fastest land mammal and it don't breed well in the captivity that is why if you have remembered even in the national park where it was introduced there the it was uh, left out in the wild itself because in captivity it cannot increase its population so in which national park cheetah was reintroduced answer in the comment section then we know about the recent leopard population data also released by the government of india so if you see leopard population increased by 8% how much means previous in 2018 that means 4 years once so if you see here it was 12852 but now it increased to 13874 that means almost you can see 1000 increase was there okay in 2022 according to the data so highest number of leopards were there from madhya pradesh if you have remembered madhya pradesh is also considered as tiger state in india and india is considered as tiger capital of the world okay in india madhya pradesh shows highest number of tigers if you have remembered what are the other states means after madhya pradesh we have some other states like for example uh, in the southern in central asian sorry uh, sorry central indian region will have most number of uh, tigers then we have sun, southern part and we have in the uh, sundarban delta part the, there also we have the highest number of tigers then it is the smallest of the big cats so the largest is the lion uh, tiger and we have the smallest one and conservation status we have already seen that is vulnerable and it is listed as appendix 1 in the sites list and you have schedule 1 status given under wildlife protection act okay then you need to remember fifth estimation cycle that means fifth census you can say in the case of leopards which is organization involved again national tiger conservation authority only do remember this is a very important thing you need to know along with wildlife institute of india which are even responsible for tiger census calculation the same organizations were also involved in estimation of leopards then what is the coverage almost 70% of the animals okay are there in the 18 states in india and you can see two areas are not covered under this survey what are those high himalayan habitat and non forested areas like arid areas semi arid areas were not included in the population counting okay then you have results of the survey how did they assess this population means using camera trap technology and food survey you know pug marks type of thing will be there based on that they have 
calculated how much uh, how many population of leopards are there so there are 13874 leopards according to the survey released so what are the geographical trend means central india has increasing population of leopards but shivalik hills and gangetic plains have decrease in population of this leopard population okay then distribution if you have to remember state wise light tiger again madhya pradesh has the highest followed by maharashtra then karnataka and tamil nadu so this is what you have to see in the brackets i have given the data in 22 and 2018 how much is the increase or decrease okay then in three landscapes you can say or the three prominent areas where there is huge population of leopards means satpura or tiger reserve in madhya pradesh panna tiger reserve in madhya pradesh again and nagarjun sagar sri salem the largest tiger reserve in the country there also we have in andhra pradesh in these three places we have huge number of leopard population okay as we have discussed about tiger reserves 55th tiger reserve was recently notified in the state of goa that is my day tiger reserve in the state of goa so who is the authority, authority or who is having the authority to, to designate a particular uh, thing as a tiger reserve means it is the state government okay state government generally have the power to designate a particular wildlife sanctuary or the national park as a tiger reserve okay that will be subsequently given approval by national tiger conservation authority okay 54th is viragana durgavati tiger reserve in madhya pradesh so that is 54th one and so far we have 55 tiger reserves notified in india then declining population if you see uttarakhand state has decreased almost uh, it has noted reported 22% fall in the big cat population and if you see three northeastern states arunachal pradesh assam and west bengal these three states almost have recorded 150% increase and they have combinedly have 349 large cats okay so now as we have come to the end of the video here you have to remember biodiversity conservation is very much important because one of the main reasons if you have remembered evil quadrant we call for biodiversity loss so evil quadrant means four factors are mainly responsible one is habitat fragmentation or habitat loss you have pollution you have then climate change you have and then another reason is over exploitation of resources okay in this way we consider them as evil quadrant right so these things have to be arrested so that we can conserve the biodiversity if biodiversity is not protected then even human existence itself will it be in question right so for this reason you need to conserve the big cats or even the biodiversity then as far as practice question for prelims you can see rajya sabha has it rajya sabha has equal powers in lok sabha with respect to matter in creating all india services if you have remembered this is exclusive privilege of rajya sabha where article 249 uh, rajya sabha can in the national interest it can start this creation of all india services then amending the constitution this is the answer under article 68 both lok sabha and rajya sabha has to individually pass the constitutional amendment bill there is no provision for joint sitting then in the role of government means this is through no confidence motion that is exclusive to lok sabha itself rajya sabha doesn't have equal power and making cut motions this is also exclusive to lok sabha itself so the answer is b then time for practice question here you can see with reference to tiger reserves in india consider the following statements first one they aim to conserve both habitat and prey base of a tiger and then you have second sariska tiger reserve is the first tiger reserve in india third project tiger aims at in situ conservation of the wild tigers okay which of the following is correct answer in the comment section then main question discuss the significance of biodiversity conservation in india and the steps taken by the government to preserve it also evaluate the effectiveness of these measures in protecting the country's rich biodiversity so this is a question given for mains answer uh, try to answer this question and answer in the comment section we will also help you out how to better your answer then as we have come to the end of the video in this video we have discussed about international big cat alliance in what context we are discussing and what is the significance of this alliance and also we have seen in about all the seven big cats individually we have discussed some important facts and also we have seen the recent leopard population data and also some other interesting things and before we conclude do remember the elephant census is conducted every 5 years once in the states which are having the highest population is karnataka assam then kerala with highest population of elephants in india then snow leopard census tiger census is conducted every 4 years once and rhinos you know rhinos are also surveyed every 4 years once or 3 years once so this is a maximum is there in kaziranga national park where you know one horned rhinos were hosted out okay so in this way you have to know about when you reading about species try to know 
how many years one census will be conducted and also very importantly you have to know whichever the locations or which of the states that are hosting highest number of that particular species is also very important at least one two three top three states you need to remember that is very important from examination perspective so i hope you found this video useful as part of your preparation thanks for watching have a good day